Hi guys, I am back with another video, Roly of Baddie South, live talking new show and why she didn't stick up for Slim. Let's get into it. Before we get into this video, y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified of my videos, and go ahead and share it if you like. So, Roly goes live, she's on there with her sister, and then she starts to talk about her new show, everything she's going to do on her show, how she's happy, how she didn't say anything about it, because she didn't want to put that vibe out there, that energy out there. She wanted to let it happen first, let everything, you know, cool down, because people was being negative, all she wanted was good vibes, so she was not trying to have that until she was ready to do it so she's on there talking about some of the things she want to do but she don't tell us everything because she like no she don't want to say anything before you know everything starts to happen so i'm gonna go ahead and let you see that part and i'm gonna come back with the rest of you know commentary talking about the whole slim thing but let's get into that first will always get done when you fucking will roly poly snack meals okay thank you i'll try to look cute today y'all went out for sushi with my friend Period. Did I, did I tell y'all? If, if I did, remind y'all. Janisha discovered me, y'all. If y'all y'all mad that I'm making it to the top, y'all gonna have to be mad at us because Janisha put a girl on. Every time, every time I thank her because literally she gassed to me. Thank you so much, Queen. Thank you so much. And I cannot wait. And I cannot wait to work on every other project that I'm about to be on. You know what I'm saying? You know, they say you block your blessings when you talk too much. And I wanted to wait for this moment. You know, this was a special moment for me. And I'm glad Zeus allowed me, you know, to share that moment with you guys. And I feel like Krishan, she, she got her show. I'm proud of her. Krishan did her motherfucking thing. As as not even on Zeus every day in life she stay she makes sure she stand in blogs she makes sure that her and her nigga be be seen so I'm proud of her and I'm proud of everybody else on Zeus that got something going on I seen Jayla she got uh, a um a major photo shoot that she had did congratulations to her everybody congratulations you know what I'm saying never with the hater shit always with the congratulations shit that's what I'm talking about yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're glowing. I'm happy, you guys. I, I am so happy. I have been ignoring all the negative comments all week, all weekend, last, whatever, just so I can get to this one. Like this, I already know. I'm like, I cannot wait to the third one because that's when I'll be able to announce the greatness of the queen. Yeah. I most definitely, my sister is always going to be where I'm at. Most definitely. <laughs> Were they asking about me? No. Oh, they're talking about Slim. Oh. But yes, my other sister as well. I got sisters. <laughs> Roly over Natalie every day. Look. And let, let me tell you something. I knew I was the queen when I stood the fuck up in that motherfucking premiere party and everybody started screaming like like I was motherfucking Nikki walking up in that bitch. Okay? <laughs> I swear to God. And 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 it's crazy because my fans crown me. I just took the crown. Sorry. I, I'm I'm really uh looking forward to making this hopefully a number one show on Zeus. Everything that I'm on is the number one show on <laughs> Zeus. <laughs> Play with me. You know what I'm saying? I just I just love I love working and I love filming. I think I'm a natural with the camera, most definitely. I will love you to the end of time. This, I'm about to debut all my talent on my show. Singing, everything. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? This bitch... Bitch, I know how to do so much shit. I now need what I need to do. What I want. Oh, let me shut up. Nope. Don't talk too much. Nah. Uh. 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 Just surprising. 
I'm so proud of Crescion. She young and she got her first show. For being herself. That's what she's supposed to do. Twins. Y'all know that I have a twin sister. Nobody never knew about that. So the girl that's above right here and she doesn't she be always in the comments talking shit. But <laughs> nobody never sees her. People really, really be like mistaking us. Like, is you Goaty? No. No, that's not. I'm Goaty. Like, what the fuck? This is Danielle. Man, she seemed like she's so happy and her makeup is on point. I love me some Roly. I really love me some Roly. And I'm kind of happy that she's not on Baddies Season 3, which I would like to see her on it because I like to see her. But I get what she's saying, all the negative vibes, all the crazy stuff that's going on. She's not trying to feel that type of stuff. She want to do her own show. She ain't really telling us everything that she's doing on the show, but she's just saying she's going to show some of her different talents. I don't know if like she's going to be... You know, getting some new people on there, what kind of vibe it's going to be, or she's going to be a show on what she got going on. I don't know. But she seemed like she's so happy just sitting there talking about it. Then people start asking her the question about Slim. Like, why you didn't stick up for Slim? Why you didn't take up for Slim? Why you just let that happen to Slim? And then you talking to the op after, you know, she did what she did to Slim, which they talking about Kashawn. And she's like, one minute, y'all, like, why am I trying to jump somebody or why Slim getting in it? You know, like, why are we jumping people type thing? And then all of a sudden, when she don't help Slim, now it's a problem saying, why you didn't help Slim? Now you want me to jump somebody. So she feeling some type of way. So she started talking about it. And she's like, one minute y'all want me to do this. Next minute y'all want me to do that. She says she kept telling Slim that she don't want Slim to help her fight. Like, she's she got it herself. And so she felt like at the reunion, Slim will be able to handle herself. Because she's like, okay, Slim got that. She's not going to let nobody jump Slim. That's not going to happen. But at the same time, she's going to let Slim fight her own battles, which I get that because they did give her a hard time saying, oh, you trying to fight her battles for her. Let her fight her own battles now that she letting her fight her own battle. Well, you didn't take up for Slim. But then they say you talking to the op, talking to Krishan, and that's supposed to be your best friend. And she like, well, you know, me and Krishan is cool and yada, 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 which I feel like the whole thing with Krishan is a business move because, you know, she's trying to do music and Krishan is already like really in it, doing it. So that right there is basically a business move on her part which i know y'all feel like okay she's supposed to be loyal to slim but i feel like that's why she's doing it but anyway she's going to talk about that why she didn't do you know help slim she was there for if she would have got jumped but at the same time she got a little fight of battles so we're going to go ahead and watch that oh god okay so i'm about to address this because i'm so sick and it's hard of people asking me this so everybody i see in the comments is like and i'm pretty sure the blog page is going to get this i don't give a fuck let me turn this comments thing off real quick. Oh, you can't. All right, you only can turn it off. So everybody keep it like, oh, why you didn't have Slim's bag? Why you didn't take up a Slim? Why you didn't do this? Slim jumped in my fight one time. And that was for Natalie. Ever since I met Slim... I always stood up for my friend. Never not have I once ever not stuck up for her. Ever. Never have I ever. Anybody that know me and Slim for one more chance besides baddies, know that I always stuck by, besides her. Beside her. In any motherfucking thing. When nobody never gonna jump my friend. Even when my girls, even though they, my, they are girls now, Maria and Biggie, even when she got into a fight with them, I was right fucking there, making sure that she did not get jumped, making sure that she was cool. And I even told her, she can't even tell y'all. I don't know why you jumped at me and Natalie's fight. Me, I had her and I told her, you know, I understand because she was, she was explaining to me, you know, she's not used to, you know, she when, when she see somebody that she love on go, she on go. And I told her, I understand that my sisters is like that. That's why I can't take my real sisters to a fight with me. Because they won't let me fight. But I told her not to ever, ever do that again. Don't ever jump in any of my fights again because I got this. I don't want nobody to make it seem like I jump people. And I talked to my friend about this. We talked about this. I don't have to relay anything to the fans that I don't want to personally between me and my friend. 
Literally. So that's why. She got to stand her ground on anything she did, anything she spoke on Krishan, anything. Like I did. I spoke on Natalie. I threw some shit out there. I threw her fucking business out there, what she be doing with niggas and all kind of shit, and her friends. I was ready to fight. I was ready to stand on anything I fucking did. I just think Slim was just over. She didn't want, she didn't come to fight. She was tired of Natalie motherfucking yelling at us while we were standing in a line trying to get the fuck, get the walkthrough done. It was just a lot. So I feel like she was on go with Natalie. That's why she jumped up and attacked her. But I also told her, you do that on your own time. Don't, don't jump in my fights. So quit making it seem like I ain't never fucking been there for my friend because I always stood up with Slim. Anytime my friend was fighting, bitch, I was standing right there with her. It's not a time where I was just like, okay, I'm going to stand back and let her do what she got to do. Only reason why you I did that at the reunion. Yeah, I'm not going to let her get jumped. Only reason why I she did that at the reunion, it was a one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. Only reason why I did that at the reunion was because y'all motherfuckers in the comments be like, y'all, you always taking uh, Slim's uh, side. Y'all, you always fighting Slim's battles. Let Slim fight her own battles. She always under Roly. No, she's not. This is what y'all see on TV. So I'm like, let me let her get her own fucking limelight. At this reunion, she can do what she can do. But I'm not about to sit there and be like, oh, I'm sorry for not sick enough for my friend. No, my friend knew that it was go time at that reunion with every fucking body. Literally. I always stick up for her. I'm always right there by her side. I don't jump in when my real sisters is fighting a one-on-one. -on -one. Because this is a one-on-one. -on -one. I never was raised to jump a bitch. Never have I ever. I jumped a nigga before. Oh, because he was a motherfucking. Yeah, he was strong. Beat the brakes off that nigga. Bet he didn't fuck with me and my girls no more. But other than that, I never just flat out just jumped a girl. I didn't. That was never planned. It was. It was not something me and Slim talked about. I don't want people thinking that we just intentionally came there to jump Natalie. No, it wasn't that. But you could clearly see that the other girls was there to jump us. That's why they came dressed like that. <laughs> we came dressed cute. Me and, me and Slim, we went and got our outfits. Like, she was still shopping while we was out there. Why the fuck would we come dressed there to, to, to tear some shit up? That's why I did on the last reunion when I beat Wop ass. I put back on an old outfit because I already knew I was about to fight. I'm not tearing up nothing new. So I didn't go there to fight. We didn't go there to fight. We, we really went there to sit there and talk. But sometimes the ball ain't in your motherfucking court, so you got to do what you got to do. But I was not intentionally there to jump nobody. Nobody at all. I promise you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you to turn the comments back on now. Okay. I just wanted to get that clear because I'm just so sick and tired of hearing that shit. Like, why you didn't stick up? Why you didn't do that? Why you didn't do this? We knew what, what time it was. I don't jump females. I'm so sorry. Anybody can feel how they want to feel. Call me fake. Call me this. Call me that. But you can never, ever motherfucking say I was never there for Slim. Slim always held her own. Roly never jumped in Slim's fights, ever. I waited till she was done when she was done fighting Krishan, but when she fought Biggie, anything. I never, ever jumped in my friend's fight because my friend got this. Period. Y'all don't know what the fuck y'all want. Y'all don't know if y'all want me to take up for her to say stuff or y'all don't, y'all don't know if y'all, like, what the fuck do y'all want me to do? Come on, let me see. Like, it's, it's, it's giving confused. Like, I'm very fucking confused at, at, at this point. You can't please everybody. I can't please everybody. You can't please everybody. But y'all want to ask me these dumbass questions, like, come on now. With all that being said, how do y'all feel about it? Do y'all feel like, okay, yeah, she should have still stuck up for Slim. She shouldn't have been talking to Krishan because Krishan was considered an op for Slim because she did not like Slim at all. But Krishan, at the same time, did tell 
you know, Roly that she liked her and she was cool with her. Now, how y'all feel about the whole thing with her getting into it with Natalie? You feel like she should have done that? Oh, yeah, she definitely should have bopped that eye and did like she did because of all the stuff that she was doing. And everybody was giving Roly a hard time saying, oh, Roly ain't going to have no more positions because she done went at Natalie. Hmm. She got her own show. She played her part, did what she did. She ain't stepped back. Just, you know how, because a lot of them were stepping back because they felt like, oh, shoot, if I mess with Natalie, I won't have no part. Because you know how she kept saying that you're fired, you're all fired, yada, yada, yada. Now, Roly over there with her own show. So she she went the best way with it. Like, I'm still coming at you because you ain't right for whatever. Or I don't care for you. But the whole Slim thing, I need y'all to comment on that. How y'all feel? Do y'all feel like, dad, she dealing with the art, Krishan, and ain't even help her homegirl gonna sit down and be talking to her? Or do you feel like, hey, she making business moves out here. She ain't trying to be, you know, helping nobody else. And, you know, she got her situation where she need to pay her bills. So it's a business deal. How y'all feel about that? Comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Banger Plate Gang, subscribe to Trish World. Make sure you check me out on social media and go shop with your girl. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.